Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 104 for Wednesday, June 29th, 2016. Your apps. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell, and yes, it's that time again. And wow, I've received a ton of your apps since the last time I did an episode devoted to them. A lot of you watching and listening are developers, obviously, and I love getting a chance to play around with your handiwork. So I went through the piles and mountains of your apps and picked out three awesome ones to feature in today's roundup. Yusuf Benz submitted the app called Swipe Edge. This is a customizable sidebar that hides off to the side out of view until you need it. See? I'm here on my home screen and you can see nothing is off to the side. I'll go ahead and swipe inward from the right. And what do you know? There's my swipe edge. The middle app drawer button uh, brings you to the apps that you've specified for swipe edge to show. You can tap any of those buttons. That's going to launch the app, of course. Simple enough. So let's dive into the settings and get it all spruced up and in shape. First, we should pick some apps to show there. So go into the drawer and choose apps, and I'll pick a few of my most essential apps, whatever they happen to be, and then save it out. Now I can expand things like the width of that tray as well as how many apps appear side by side. So if you want to jam it full of apps, you can do that. Useful if you've selected just a ton of apps for Swipe Edge. Uh, But let's back out and we can check out some themes here. Right now I'm running the Prime version. That gives me access to more than 50 themes for the Swipe Edge panel. So you can really change things up. Just tap one to download and it's applied. Or I can go into the Swipe Edge specific settings to tailor my own width, height, and placement settings, along with things like the color and transparency of everything to let a little of that background content shine through. Now, there's also a bit of gesture support here. So when I have the swipe edge tray showing, I can move my finger in different directions over the top of it, and that'll do things like change brightness, change the volume level, and you could also quit to send Swipe Edge away for good until I manually launch the app again later. Maybe it's getting in the way for some reason. Swipe Edge is free, but you can purchase that $2.99 Prime version that includes those 50 themes I mentioned, as well as the brightness controls and advanced drawer customizations, as well as no ads. That's a pretty important feature. Find Swipe Edge in the Play Store now. We got an email from the developer of a brand new app that's aimed at helping you out when someone gives you their number in a hurry. Say you're at a party and you have your phone and you don't have all the time to like dive into the contacts app to, you know, mess around with all the fields and stuff. This is an app that'll help you do this quickly so you can manage that other stuff later. It's called Quick Phone Entry. And all you got to do is launch the app first and foremost, of course, and you're given a few brief fields, just the essentials. Up top, the most important field, the phone number. Uh, But the smarts of the app lie in a few other places. If you're entering an email address, for example, that at field auto-completes with domain options for every letter that you enter. That saves you time. You don't have to input every single letter of that domain. Also, the app ties into a database of first and last names. And that, too, auto-completes as you type, shaving even more time off the entry. You'll notice Quick Phone Entry has its own keyboard down here. This actually makes sure that your super smart keyboard that you normally use doesn't autocorrect anything, getting out of the way of that one simple task, which is writing down the name and number quickly. And then later, you can sync that entry over to your contacts when you have the time to do it. A 99 cent upgrade gives the ability to add up to three numbers at once, as well as notes for that contact so you can jog your memory later with other details. And it supports the developer of this brand spanking new app. So find Quick Phone Entry in the Play Store right now. I have a little bit of a confession to make. I am not an astronomer. 
I know, I know, I'm shattering your vision of me, but I've never been to space, and I don't know the first thing about astrophysics, but I love to look at it. And if you love to look at it too, then you'll get a kick out of GVAN's submitted app called Cosmic Watch. Here we start with the planet Earth and a pinpoint that marks our location on the globe. Now, as I shift the view, notice the top layer of stars that is tied with those movements. Everything moves dynamically and looks really pretty. This means you can use the app to see virtually what stars are in view above wherever you happen to be on the globe. Over on the left side are a few different modes for changing the information you see surrounding Earth. That top option provides a time-based layer, so you can track how the time affects the cosmos that surrounds you. The stars option is where you'll go to see how the stars that surround you line up to various locations around the globe. That third option is devoted to astrological information, if that's your cup of tea. And the bottom option spreads it all out, showing the galaxy as we know it. Let's bring it back in though, because the settings offer some really interesting options. Here we can determine how we want Earth to be rendered. Do we want it to be a high-res render, or with or without clouds? What about the sky? Do we want the sphere view, or the open sky, or what about a long exposure layer? Guides offers an incredible selection of information, like a planet names layer, or celestial rings and coordinates. And clock data for showing the clock face, of course, but also the seasons that are tied into that and months of the year. And finally, tap that clock button and you can take a trip through time to find out the layout of pretty much any point in time. I admit much of what Cosmic Watch does flies over my head a little bit, but it's still a bunch of fun to get lost in because it's designed so beautifully. You'll find Cosmic Watch for $4.25 in the Play Store right now. Timothy Carey wrote in to say, I've been looking for an Android app for my Zenfone 2 that'll let me assign ringtones to notifications from all apps. For instance, my chess game does do notifications, but it only uses the default SMS sound for the phone. So I can't tell the difference between a chess move and my text coming in. Sometimes chess is more important than a text, he says. I understand, Timothy. Chess is pretty darn important. So let's see what we can do for you here. I found an app called Notifier Pro, and I think this might be what you need in your life. Fire it up, and you'll get a view into all of the apps on your device. Notifier Pro is meant to give unprecedented control over how each app notifies you about updates and changes made inside them. So then, for example, I can dive into an app here and I'm given a settings pane for just that app. Here I can set up custom actions for notifications, including the one that you seek. I'll set ring on notification to yes, and then I'll select a ringtone for that notification. I can pick from any that are installed, so the default system ones are there, but feel free to load in an audio file of your own. Just use a file manager app like Sliding Explorer, for example, and you can place your audio file into the notifications folder on your phone's internal storage. Now, beyond the sound playback, I can also select whether my phone should vibrate or not, and if so, with what pattern. I can select privacy settings for the notification content, whether I want my uh, device to wake on that notification from a screen off state, and if I want every notification that comes through for that app to trigger these settings, or just the first one in the series. Pretty flexible, and there's more to it, so definitely check out Notifier Pro for free with a feature-packed upgrade for $3.40 in the Play Store now. One final thought on Notifier Pro. I set the lock screen portion of the app to disabled, and you might want to do the same if you protect your device with a security lock. Otherwise, you're going to end up with two unlock roadblocks in order to get into your device, and it's kind of awkward. It wasn't what I wanted, so if that happens to you, now you know what to do, and I hope that helps. So send me your favorite apps or your categories to arena at twit.tv. You can post those to the Android app arena.reddit.com subreddit and share them with me there. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live. And a new episode always appears later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena. arena.